Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh and hello to all of you. This is uh, the video uh, for the personal financial ratio that you are going to uh, do in the project paper. So um, this might be a little bit small, but don't worry. Uh, you will have our uh, hand over the document, this document to you, so that you can also check at the document by yourself all right in this video i just want to explain uh, how you're going to calculate the personal financial ratio and where actually the figures uh, come from okay so this is the case of uh, stanley wong where you will be given this uh, information as a sample case so you can see here there is a statement of net worth Okay, and you will have this information on asset, um, which comprise of uh, cash and cash equivalents, investment asset, personal use asset, and you will have uh, liabilities as well, current liabilities, long-term liabilities, uh, net worth, and here on the right side of the document, you can see the information on jewelry, on uh, home contents, um, as well as uh, the amount of total assets and total liabilities and net worth other than that other document that you need to calculate for personal financial ratio um, is the cash flow statement so um, in this uh, cash flow statement you will have the cash inflows uh, the fixed outflows the variable outflows and total outflows here as well as the net cash flows so the net cash flows here uh, is positive so same as in your case as the case in your client please make sure that the net cash flow is positive uh, you know some kind of like a hundred thousand um, because if the net cash flow is negative then how you're going to to recommend the client to make a saving while at the same time they have no uh, cash okay so um, what are the financial ratios that uh, we are going to calculate the first is um, basic uh, liquidity ratio okay so as for a basic liquidity ratio the formula is a uh, cash or cash equivalent divide with um, monthly expenses uh, divide with 12 so cash and cash equivalents you can just simply check it uh, from um, here cash and cash equivalent is um, 105000 so the figure is here you go to the network statement cash and cash equivalent 105000 and the monthly expenses um, you go to the cash flow statement um, you get the yearly expenses and you divide with 12 so this is the formula and this is the calculation okay so total outflows is 214 okay the total outflows here is 214000 you divide with 12 and then uh, you can get this figure 5.89 uh, so you compare this 5.89 with uh, the threshold for example like in this basic liquidity ratio uh, the healthy position is between three to six months so as for this client uh, the the basic liquidity ratio is 5.89 which is within the range of three to six months which is considerably as healthy the next uh, ratio is about standby liquidity ratio um, where all right so here i show you the formula okay a liquid investment asset divide with monthly expenses so same as before as for monthly expenses 214000 divide with 12 and 214000 is where you get this figure from the cash flow uh, statement and the liquid investment asset all right this is the figure you have to find from the net worth statement okay so investment asset as in this case if you look at the cash flow net worth statement all right so 
investment asset is 165,000. This is the total investment asset. But as for this, it will just refer to the liquid asset. So, all right, the total uh, investment asset minus the EPF minus the jewelry. So you can see um, 165k belong to total investment asset minus 20k for EPF minus um, 5k for jewelry. So the total is 140k. Okay, so it belongs to this liquid uh, investment asset. So I repeat again where you can get this total investment asset. It is from net worth statement. All right. So here is the figure 165 minus 20,000 of the EPF and minus the jewelry. Okay, of 5,000. So uh, that is the answer uh, for the second formula that is uh, standby liquidity ratio.